While you were lollygagging, we secured the area. You did well, my friend. Thanks to your efforts, we control the chasm and can freely move troops between the Hollow City and the front lines. Take a moment to collect your thoughts, then come see me again. This gauntlet we must run is far from over. As soon as you're ready, we have another mission that could use your unique approach. Vampires. The region beyond is crawling with them. Worse, anyone we send in there is turned into one of the foul monsters. And do you see the structure that looms on the horizon? I believe that's one of Molag Ball's infamous harvest hearts. Eager and confident. I like that. I need you to collect blood from the vampires. It's an integral component in the pacification ritual I will perform. Use the blood to mark their lairs. I'll meet you near the heart when you're finished. What are you still doing here? The vampires won't bleed themselves, you know. Of merry grandeur. I have my preparations to deal with, and you have yours. The first step is to make sure the ritual targets the correct creatures. Marking the vampires' layers with their own blood will guarantee this. In the most expedient manner possible, the ritual unleashes a magic that tracks down the blood and targets the creatures connected to it. Then the vampires will become mindless beasts, no longer capable of posing any threat. I've been developing this ritual for years, but I've never had the chance to test it until now. If this works, it could be a major breakthrough against vampirism. Just another of Molog Ball's clever witticisms, I suppose. It's an orchard from which he plucks the fruit of his vampiric creations. Or something poetic and disturbing like that. But we have a ritual to prepare for. I've read accounts of these foul artifacts. Molog Ball uses them to enslave large communities and to empower specific parts of his divine portfolio. In this case, I believe the heart is greatly increasing the rate at which the vampirism spreads. Not easily. But that's where my ritual comes in. By the time I finish casting it, the heart will be no more, and the vampires will no longer pose a threat to our forces. Just another of Molog Ball's clever witticisms, I suppose. It's an orchard from which he plucks the fruit of his vampiric creations. Or something poetic and disturbing like that. But we have a ritual to prepare for.
you subjecting my people to this danger? 